Yeah. After looking at these disciples, yeah. you ought to be able to know how you survive. Yeah. Huh? Because everybody in here knows how it feels to feel alone. So the disciples survived, huh? Because the same God that appeared to be absent was both absent and present at the same time. Preach God. Yeah. 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 Rewind, please. I said the same God is both absent and present at the same time. Yeah. Here it is. Jesus is just as much human as he is divine. Yeah. Are you with him? And so, during those times in the wee hours when I don't feel like I can take it, when I don't feel like I can make it, when I'm about to lose my mind, I can call on him who's there all of the time. Yeah. And so the disciples said, listen, it's strange. Yeah. <laughs> just like all of us wanted our own mind. It's strange. Because they thought he was gone. Yeah. But when they looked around, they noticed that the water didn't drown. Now, hear what I just said? Brothers and sisters, you're going to be placed and put in situations where you're going to feel like you're drowning. When you're going to feel like you're at the ground floor. And that's when God steps in with an imaginary, a divine shovel, and makes a basement for you. And then Jesus, huh, was on the pinnacle of this mountain. But he hung on a cross. Look at your neighbor and say, here it is. And the book says that they lifted him high. Stretched him wide, dropped him low, so as to make a mockery of him. So he knows how it feels to be up real high. Lord, have mercy. Huh? But and he also knows how it feels to have a talk about. It. If you are who you say you are, come down and save yourself. Are you with here? But this same Jesus says, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. So, brothers and sisters, old folk used to say that the moon dripped away in blood. And the sun refused to shine. Because you can't have two suns hanging at the same time. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? Yeah. I wanted a new providence. If I had anybody in the building who can testify that can't nobody do me like Jesus. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? Or can you say amen? Oh, I wonder if there were anybody in the building who can testify that yeah. when you found yourself not knowing which way to go, Jesus stepped in and he made everything all right. If there ain't anybody in the building, if there ain't too deep, if there ain't too stubborn, you can stand on your feet and you can slip up your hand and you can testify that I was down, but Jesus picked me up. I was low as I could go, but Jesus lifted me up. And since he lifted me up, I can look up towards heaven and tell God, thank you. The reason why I've crossed the stage is because my hand was in the hands of the Lord. The reason why last night was not my last night is because my hand was in the hands of the Lord. The reason why I made it here safe and sound is because of the hand of the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? Or can you say amen? If you ain't too mean, just grab your neighbor by the hand. Shake that neighbor's hand with some power. Shake that 
label hand uh, with some conviction. Uh, shake that label hand uh, until you feel your help coming up. Uh, oh, y'all ain't shaking. Uh, shake your neighbor's hand uh, until you feel that. Uh, look at your neighbor, uh, square in the eye, uh, and say, neighbor, uh, say, neighbor, I've had uh, some good days. Uh, I've had uh, some bad days. I've had uh, some hills to climb. But when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days, I made my bad days. Oh, I won't complain. Is there anybody in the building you can testify that instead of complaining, you just look toward heaven and tell God, thank you. For being so good, thank you. For being so good, thank you. For making a way out of no way. And so here it is. Here it is. Before he died and got up. When he died and he buried him and he got up, he was already up. Huh? He was already lifted up. That was the smooth golf ball. Y'all be about this. But when they buried him, huh? The golf ball got them. Huh? And when he got up out the grave, he went further than ever before. That's why. You cannot be who God has called you to be acting like buzzards and chickens. If you're going to be a buzzard, be a buzzard. If you're going to be a chicken, be a chicken. But if you're going to be an eagle, you're going to have to deal with something. And then, after you've dealt with it, you shall come forth as pure gold. Woo. My mama said to me, matter of fact, she mentioned to me, they said, baby, no cross, no crime. <laughs> huh? You have to go through to get to. There's a message that's coming to, your, to the pulpit right here out of Job. And I'm going to title of the message is from hell to happy hour. You have to say it's okay to happy hour. Huh? <laughs> All of us like happy hour. Yeah. But none of us want to go through hell. Yeah. But in order for you to get to, you have to go through some stuff. Because God cannot whoop, trust you if he can't test you. And that's what you're going to go through. Y'all people, there's going to be some time, there's going to be a semester where you're going to wonder if the professor like you, why he looking at you like that, why she looking at you like that. I know I deserve a better grade. Huh? Just like it is in our lives, Christian folk. Seem like life should be a little bit easier since I gave Christ my hand. Come on, don't y'all act like you ain't never thought about that. I mean, God, here I am, trying, struggling to praise your name. Struggling. Lord, I, may, I barely made it, but I made it there. The question is not you making it here. It's what you do when you get here. And the countenance on your face should suggest, should suggest that you are grateful to God for simply allowing you, little old you, little old mad you, little old stuck on you. Huh? And you think about how many graveyards, cemeteries, and funerals, huh? Come on, y'all. And prisons that God allowed you to bypass just to get here. Everybody in here at least had a triple bypass this week. You bypass a funeral home, you bypass a prison, you bypass a cemetery. Come on, huh? Matter of fact, you had a phone call. Somebody ought to testify, God is good. Most is everlasting. 
and it's true. Endure to all generations. So I can't just sit back. I can't just sit back. Y'all missed it. I can't. I know I said, I know it don't sound good. But I can't just sit back. Okay. I cannot just sit there. You see, that's the problem, y'all. We listen, we're, we're so busy trying to polish up stuff, and God is not concerned about how much polish you have on you because He's the one that's causing you to shine. Huh? Everybody ain't gonna be there, right? It's not gonna be put out there to tickle my fancy. Some of this, y'all, the book says, the book is described as a two edged sword. It cuts you going and it cuts you coming. Yeah. Now, anything cut going to make you bleed. So if God cuts me through the word, that means he has enough medicine to heal me where I cut. You see, I don't look for other folk to heal me. Huh? Because you, <laughs> you'll put a band-aid on it without being spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Huh? We're in the business of rigging stuff. And that is the word I've used before that. We rig, we, huh, we rig stuff. Oh, y'all know what sex said when we go home. Huh? Huh? Home-based remedies. Oh, no, I ain't going to start paying for that. I do that myself. We call it what? Rig. You know what it is, don't you? Huh? Chicken rig. Huh? Yeah, that's good. Man, put her chicken rig. Huh? And so we do it ourselves. And watch this, and watch this. And when we find out that we didn't do it the right way because it's a leak in this old building, uh, and you gotta move. Uh, so now, guess what? Uh -huh. Now that, that's when you realize, you know what? That I'm not as smart as I think I am. Because there's a difference between your understanding and God's wisdom. Let me tell you something, babies. I don't care how smart you think you are, you will never be as smart as God's wisdom. If you want, if you ever want to be smart, ask God for wisdom. The whole lot of folk who got book sense. But no common sense. Huh? Common sense. Let me say some common sense is wisdom. Are you in here? Just because it's right for me to cross the road because it's green light. That, huh? That's good. That's good. But if an 18 wheeler come, my light can be green all day long. Huh? Wisdom say you better stay there until, come on, help me in here. Otherwise, you'll be in hunt. My mama used to this vernacular. You'll be dead or flat as five day old deer. Come on, help me in here. Huh? And so there's a difference between wisdom and understanding. If you want it, seek God for it. And guess what God say? I'll give it to you if that's what you want. Amen? God bless you. Seek him while I'm going 